Hello everybody, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Here we're on episode 6, season 1 of Ian's Let's Play. And uh, today we're in our brand new house. Big windows, very nice. And it's dark outside, so I think I'm just about to sleep so we uh, get rid of all these monsters that are outside. Last time we built this house and we moved in. We also built a basement downstairs with our energy production, lava production, and then in the end, uh, RF production. So we've got lots of um, space to play with. And outside we've also got lots of good space as well. Let's just check there's no monsters around. All looks clear. <laughs> More uh, compressed zombies are being um, squeezed to death by the compressed to death by the wall or something today I'm thinking of extending our smeltery and maybe getting some tinkers construct tools and um, better ones than this diamond sword I do see a skeleton over there which I want to um, get rid of just oh he hit me first Oh, that's a compressed skeleton. That's not good. Oh dear. Oh, I'm in a hole as well. Let's see. Can we um, kill some of these skeletons without dying too much? Oh, they're nasty. They're really nasty. Let's see. What can we do? Is that the last one? I think there's just mob drops sitting around here now. Hey, we got a loot bag and quite a few mob drops. Lots of bones. I have been getting so many loot drops from our mob spawner. This chest is full. Mostly of the uh, loot bags. We've got some good ones in here, some um, rare ones. And I have opened quite a few of them. And I got this sword, actually, from from one of the loot bags. So that's pretty cool. It's got Life Stealing 3, which I think it, like, revives you. Hey, nice. Uh, when you kill something. Melon seeds? Mm, we don't really need that. I've been trashing a lot of the things I don't need. Because it's just going to fill up my chest so much. And it's not really necessary. You can see in here, it's just filled it up so much with all these random things. And then also I have a junk chest over here, just full of stuff, really. And then this is filling up as well. And also got some more uh, more things from actually for actually additions in here. Um, yeah, so today I think I'm going to do the smeltery. So we're going to need a lot more seared brick for that. So I think we got some grout and then we can make some more with sand, gravel and clay. Like this. Another two stacks and then we can come through here and put it in our furnace. And that will slowly um, be made into a seared brick. Now I think we can even put grout in the in the smeltery. Yes, we can. But the only way we can get it out is into a casting uh, basin instead of a... Or no, into a casting table instead of a casting basin. So, um... Oh, it's only one at a time. Oh dear. It's going to take ages. Let's um, see how the one on the inside is going. Very nice. Also, we'll need to make a clock. A redstone clock will do, I think. Um, and then a lever as well, which is simple to make. Just need some cobblestone and a stick. Have any sticks? Yes. I use these iron chest transporters to move uh, items from the base over here. I think I might have mentioned that last time. 
Um, and how do we make the clock? Oh, we need four stone, some redstone, and a torch. So we need another stick. And some redstone. Oh, and some more redstone. <laughs> and do we have any stone in here? Yeah, we do. Nice. Let's see, we can make this. No, we need to make the torch first. There we go. Now this will come apparent very soon. Actually, we should go and get the uh, seared bricks. 13. Oh, that's so good. And then we need some aluminium. Nope. Some... Uh, Tinker's construct. There we go. Uh, aluminum brass. Aluminium brass, however you want to say it. It takes aluminium and molten copper. And this does not have an EMC level, so we can't duplicate it. Now, it's, it is... Where has it gone? I'll put it up here so I don't lose it again. It is one copper to three aluminium. So we actually only need one copper there. Do we have any more aluminium? Maybe we need to go and uh, do some more mining. Nice. So now we put this down. And we put the copper in. And we put our clock just here. And we switched off. And so this will... Hey, look at that. The ingot's just sitting in there. This will uh, pulse every so often. And it will make this activate. And unactivate. Oh, we need such a bigger one of these now. Yeah, that was quick. And then we need a seared ingot. There we go, and then we take the, we can just test this out. So that automatically fills it for us, we don't have to right click on that. So then what we can do is put a hopper underneath, and then a chest, right here. And that will be an automated system to make seared brick. I'll actually make two hoppers, as you will see soon, that will be a good idea. So we just need some iron. Two hoppers, please. Wonderful. So there's a ingot in here already. So I'm just going to put that there. And then it automatically build it out, put it in the chest. Now what we want to do is actually put grout in here. And now I'll automatically put it in here. And then it'll automatically come into the table. We can watch it go. Grout actually has EMC, so I could have done it in the table. But that's a bit cheating, isn't it? Comment down below if you think that's cheating or not. <laughs> here we go. So it's completely automatic. We might be able to make the smeltery bigger now. Maybe. Oh, this has got EMC as well, so we could even make it bigger. Maybe I'll get a few more of those and then actually make the rest of them. Oh, that's far too many. Yeah, that's good. It is really cheating that, isn't it? It's crazy. How easy it is to cheat with that. Or not cheat, because it is actual gameplay. So we're going to create 3x3, three three, I think. And then because I didn't break the controller, it should still remember what it was up to. There we go. It's filling nicely. 
Now we can go around like this and make it taller. And this can now take up to nine. Also, I need to keep the lava topped up as well. I'll work out a way to do that. Yep, got another brick right there. You can put cobblestone in here and it'll turn it into seared. So you don't need to um, make grout. But this time I've done it that way, so. Now when we've filled this whole top, we'll have to take the hopper away and um, put it somewhere else, maybe on this face or this face, then we'll have to move this system over uh, so we can put a block here and then that will register as another layer and then on and on and on and on until it reaches the sky. Yeah, and then the sun's going down. Beautiful. Yeah. So I think I'm going to sleep for the night again and uh, keep waiting for a uh, seared brick to be made. I also want to um, have some wood production as well. And that comes in the form of bonsai trees. Uh, or bonsai planters. Um, we should actually have more than just one bucket to do this. but um, So that, that will be uh, my next project as well. Once we've finished this smeltery. I'm just going to let it run for a while and then I will uh, make tools with it because I want to make it bigger. And it's getting there nice and slowly. 35, very nice. So you can see with more space up here, it does more. One, two, three, one, two. It does more at a time. So it does nine at a time. So this has to keep up with it. So now I've got three blocks. So now this might be the point where we take the hopper away. Wait, come on, there we go. And you can see this is extended to become bigger. And we can just put the hopper on the front actually. Slightly difficult to get in, there we go. And then it fills it up. Oh yeah. We can actually fill this in here. So that's a good good starting smeltery, actually. And that will uh, just keep working away at all that grout. And if we want more, we can even put stone in there, and it'll just keep going and keep going. So that's fully automated now, except the lava. So when the lava runs out, then it stops. And that's okay. All right. I think I'm going to get on with the bonsai trees now. Um, bonsai. Here we go. Now we want the hopping bonsai pot. It's got a hopper on it so it can eject to a chest below it. And we make it by using bricks. Now I think we have quite some clay. We do. And I'm going to make one or two of these just to begin with. It takes five each. Three, four, five. So that should be enough for two right now. And then from a birch tree, you get four different things. So I think I'm going to make a draw. I should have uh, saved that. Um, a draw with four different compartments. So this one. Takes quite a lot of wood to make, but that's okay. And you get four out of it, so that's even better. So we need some wood, and there's some more chests, and yeah. Let's see, we might be able to make it straight off, actually. There we go. Um, where should we have this? Over here. And then we need some dirt, and some saplings. So we're going to take an oak sapling. And I don't think we need anything else just now. If we get a slime sapling, then we'll put the slime sapling in the bonsai planter. But I think we'll just have oak, oak saplings for now. Or oak and a birch sapling. 
Okay, looks like they're finished. We also need to make two hoppers. So there's a bonsai pot. Um, and I don't think I have enough iron for that, so we'll just grab some more. And we need another chest, actually. Because we need two hoppers for this. So it is quite expensive on iron, but the result is great. So you just come over here. Where did I put them? Over here. <laughs> and you place it on top. You put some dirt in. And you put the sapling in. And there you go. Hey, look at that little tree grow. <laughs> and this will just eject into the inventory below it, which is the dross. And you can see at the top in the tooltip, Whaler is uh, it says it's seventy percent finished now and rising, you're almost to eighty. Oh, it's not so small anymore. Ninety, and there we go. We grew a bonsai tree, in an achievement. And also we uh, created a bonsai pot as well. So you get wood, you get leaves, you get sticks and saplings, from it. So we're going to put the other one here, also need some dirt and a sapling. So those are just going to sit there, those are automated now. And when I need wood, I'll just come over and grab some wood. We can just put all our wood over there actually. Yeah. So these are so many good small things that we can do early game that will make life so much easier in later games, in the later game, so, yeah, what's next, <laughs> we're absolutely blasting through the, uh, through the list of things I had to do, now we could make this bigger, it seems to have stopped, it's run out of grout, yeah, it's quite a lot of bricks, over 32, 33, okay. So we could just keep making the the structure bigger now. Like this. Oh, I don't think we have enough to completely finish it. Oh, just three more. Oh, wow. So that's now a lot bigger. Your little slider bar here. That's now a lot bigger than it was, so we can um, smelt lots of things now. Yeah. Now I talked about doing some Tinker's Construct tools. I'm not quite sure what material I want right now. Um, but maybe just we'll start out with some... Hey, we've got sticks now. Sorry, getting distracted, like usual. <laughs> um, maybe just with some iron. Let's have a look what materials, or um, I think there's a book from Tinker's Trunk Construct, uh, Materials and You. Let's have a look in here. Tool materials. Here we go. So there's quite a lot of them. Silver, lead, bronze, copper, uh, manulin. That, that's the one that I want the most. I think manulin would be great with uh, ardite and cobalt, but I don't think I can mine any of these just yet. And I'm not sure what level I need for um, what mining level I need for this. Maybe obsidian, because it can mine cobalt. But then also I think um, a diamond pickaxe can mine cobalt. So maybe we'll go off to, off to the nether and um, try and find some... Try and find some. Sorry, I'm looking for gravel. There we go. Uh, we don't need the stone either. And try and find some ardite. Now we're equipped as well. I got also got these diamond leggings and diamond chest plate from the uh, the loot coming from the monsters over there. So that's pretty great. Off to the nether we go. 
wasn't so it was a little scary last time. Hopefully it'll be less scary now. Okay, let's look for some Ardite and some Cobalt. Actually, I'm going to make a waypoint using journey map. New. Home. <laughs> the way home. Yeah, and we'll make it that color. So we won't lose ourselves again, like the first time we were here. Let's see. Nope, it's not harvestable from a, a diamond pickaxe. I feel like I'm just going to break it. Yeah, I did just break it. But that's a little scary. If we break one of these... Hey! <laughs> cool. So I think we need to go and make an obsidian pickaxe. That sounds cool, doesn't it? So, uh, let's go back home. Now we need a few... We need a few things before we uh, make this uh, pickaxe. Just uh, some basic tinkers construct things. We also get apples from this as well. So these are the four different things we get. And I think we get three different things from the birch sapling. Sweet. So we need uh, some sticks and we need some blank patterns 20 will do and then we just put blank patterns above a log and a crafting table and a chest that wasn't actually so important the chest one and I think just a piece of wood as well there we go I think that's all of them now so these are um, tool builders they build tools for you and it's dark again oh my goodness I feel like I'm sleeping all the time okay don't go away son <laughs> so we need the stencil table the part builder, the tool station, and then the chest goes in the back there. Then we have the blank patterns in the stencil table. We're going to need the pickaxe head and the tool rod. And I think we need some cobblestone as well. Uh, which I think I will get from here. Cobblestone I'm okay getting from there. <laughs> so we put this in here. And then we can access, because it's right next to it, we can access the pattern chest. So if I put this in here, we can go in here and it's there. And this creates another slot. So it always has just one extra slot than what's there. So we need to create um, a stone pickaxe head and a tool rod. There we go. And we can just leave that there, actually. Now we want to turn this off because we're going to create another cast. Two more casts. So we need two more ingots, actually. You two go in there. You'll get smelted up. Now we need some obsidian. Not quite sure how much obsidian we need. But some. Oh, I might have to go and get some. Oh, no. We got some. No worries. All good. And we'll probably just make this completely obsidian, this um, pickaxe. So we take the pickaxe head and we put that in the, the table. And then we put some aluminium brass over it. Aluminum brass, however you say it. And then we put another on top. And that creates a stencil. Now, I'm not sure how much obsidian we need. I'm just going to use three because... I don't know. Might need more, might need less. 
These flowers are from Botania, which is a, an incredible mud we will be getting into. Um, I have to strap our seatbelts on for uh, the, that mud when we get there. It gives you lots of very good items and things to uh, to use. This is just packed. I'm thinking of making a draw system here for it uh, as storage. Let's see, have you finished? Nope, not yet. You can actually see right through the lava tank here to the obsidian. And it tells you how much lava we have in the in the smeltery also. Yeah, it does say on these casts how much they cost, so two and one. So maybe I've calculated right by using three. I'm not sure. Okay. Whoa, molten obsidian. Two blocks left. And it's hardening. And then that gets pulled out and put in the chest. It's quite nice that the casts don't get pulled out and put in the chest. And then we also need one of you as well. So we actually just used two. Uh, no, only one and a half um, blocks. And we can't make uh, obsidian ingots. So there we have the obsidian tool rod and the obsidian head. Oh no, I forgot about the uh, the binding. Whoops. Uh, so we need a binding as well. Which we have to do the same. Um, we have to melt down, down some aluminum brass. That won't take too long. That's what the rest of the obsidian is for. So, this um, smeltery can take up to 288 ingots, which is kind of crazy. And there we go. And then I think it should just be obsidian left in there. Let's hope we have enough. Yeah, we have enough. There's still some left over. One block left over. Alright, now we're ready. There we go. Mining level cobalt. This has the leveling up system on it, so it's got zero XP on it right now. Um, and it's not got very good durability, but we just need to mine up some cobalt and then we can upgrade this uh, pickaxe to a cobalt um, cobalt axe okay let's just go and find some cobalt there was some around here wasn't there there it is if I can get to it we can also vein mine this stuff Oh yeah. Whoa, there was five just there. <laughs> this is a lot quicker than our diamond pickaxe, even though there's no additions to it. Now I'm just going to leave other things alone because I'm looking for cobalt and ardite. Oh, it's all a little scary. Right next to the lava just there. Let's see, can we go this way? Oi. A fire bat. Yeah, you just go away, thank you. Here's some cobalt. I'll take you, thank you very much. Oh my goodness. That was close. Whew. Let's just put you away. Let's get the right uh, pickaxe here. And then there was some cobalt. Uh, Ardite here, I mean. And it is harvestable, which is nice. Oh, some more ardite over here. So if you take ardite and cobalt and put them both in the smeltery, you can mix them up to create manulin, which is like a higher level material. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, once we've done that, I think that would be great. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit over there. Whoa. 
Wonderful. I think it's time to head home. And... Oh, but there's some here. Of course we'll have to stop and get it. Oh, that um, ender, that nether creeper scared me right then. Hoo ha. Okay, so I actually think we've got to a wrapping up point. And uh, next episode we'll come back and we'll smelt up the cobalt and the ardite. And we'll improve our obsidian pickaxe. And we'll get on to some other cool things as well. So I think that's all from me today. Uh, if you liked it, drop a like down in the like button section. If you uh, want to see more, uh, subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Click it. Go click it. Click it. Thanks. And then um, if you want to comment down below of anything that's going on in my Let's Play world, just comment down below. And I'm more than welcome to uh, see what your thoughts and opinions are on this Let's Play. And uh, I'll see you next time. So uh, see you next time.